Viking News Network. Hello and welcome to the January episode of Viking News Network. I'm Natalie Williams. And I'm David Johnston. In case you haven't noticed, during the winter months, snow and ice can be a major inconvenience for drivers. Here are Adam Hoover, Jared Kekaha, Anna Coons, and my co-anchor David Johnston to help with some tips to keep you safe. Driving on icy roads can be quite a slippery slope for inexperienced drivers. Here is today's winter driving instructor, Adam Hoover. He'll try his best to give some pointers to keep safe this winter. One of the most important things to remember about winter driving is to not go too fast when driving into an intersection or else your wheels won't get traction and they'll spin. If you spin your wheels, it might cause you to drift into other cars, buildings, or other obstacles that might be nearby. Instead, let your car do the work for you. Pull out onto the road as slow as possible to ensure your tires get as much traction as possible. Remember to always give yourself enough time to stop, as icy roads can make it very difficult to stop. If you think you're beginning to stop too far back, remember that stopping too early is better than stopping too late. And even if these tips don't help, the most important thing is to be prepared for anything, as winter weather is very unpredictable. Always wear a hat, coat, snow bibs, gloves, and durable boots. Also remember to pack blankets, extra clothes, and food. It's also a good idea to keep salt or cat litter in your vehicle at all times in case you get stuck. Thanks, Instructor Hoover, for helping keep the roads safe. He's the hero we need, but not the one we deserve. This winter, kids aged 5 and under were able to burn off some energy at the Winter Wiggle Out. This event was put on by ECFE, which stands for Early Childhood Family Education. Research shows that 90% of brain development occurs before the age of 5, making ECFE a very resourceful program, but not only for the children, but parents as well. There will be another winter wiggle out on February 4th from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Viking Elementary Gym. The Somali cooking class through community education was on Sunday, January 12th in the PRHS Home Ec Food Lab. The class was held to teach people how to cook Somali food. There were 15 people who attended. The Somali senior girls cooked rice, fries, tea, and sambusa, which is a fried or baked pastry with a spicy filling. Pelican Rapids High School Athletics has enjoyed an overall successful season in winter sports. Here are Kirby Nelson, Autumn Gummeringer, and Ellie Johnson with the January Sports Update. The Vikings wrestling team has found a healthy bout of success this season. Notable events include wrestlers Matty Zebel reaching 100 career wins and brother Johnny Zebel cracking 50 wins. The team as a whole has enjoyed victories over several high-powered conference opponents. The girls' basketball team is off to another dominant season this year. The team remains undefeated through games on a competitive schedule. Junior Greta Tollefson passed an impressive milestone of 1,000 points in mid-January. The team is looking forward to a deep playoff run in the notoriously difficult 8AA section. The Valkyries dance program is on the close of an enjoyable season this year. The team was challenged in the season with injuries, prompting a contingent of fresh faces onto the floor. The first round of playoffs begins on the 1st of February for the team. Boys basketball started their season with a chain of high-profile wins this season. The team is in a mid-conference standing with a tough upcoming schedule. Nonetheless, the Black and Orange Brigade has the tools to finish the season with momentum into the playoffs. Good luck to all the teams in the postseason, and congratulations on great performances so far. The One Act cast has been rehearsing their show, The Builder, which is an abstract view on society and how if we don't work together, we fall apart. The cast consists of seven high school students from here at PRHS. They performed the show at the MSHSL One Act competition on January 25th and took fifth place. Great job to all participants. 60% of people make New Year's resolutions at the beginning of each year. But how many people actually achieve their goals? That's a good question. Let's go to Greta Nordgren and my co-anchor, Natalie Williams, as they ask a few people how well they are keeping up with their resolutions. Hi everybody, I'm Janice, and my New Year's resolution is to watch more YouTube videos. I'm Susan, and my New Year's resolution is to not eat any sugar for the year of 2020. I'm Lori, and my New Year's resolution is to go to the gym every day this 2020. Okay, so it's day one, and I've been doing pretty well following through watching all these YouTube videos, and I think I'm gonna make it all through 2020. 
So it's day one of not eating any sugar. And let me tell you, I'm doing really good. I'm really proud of myself for, I, I know it's just day one, but uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this. It's day one and I went to the gym this morning and I did lots of lifting and it felt great. Okay, it's day two and I've been doing so good on watching all my YouTube videos. My screen time has doubled. Day two of not eating any sugar and it's still going pretty well for me guys. So I, I haven't eaten any. I'm gonna hold out on this, guys, I'm telling you. It's day two and I went to the gym this morning but I got a little tired so I left early but I'm still doing great. Okay, so it's day three and I have a really busy schedule today. Like, I have a skateboard competition, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch as much today, but I'm going to try my hardest. Day three of not eating any sugar, and it was a little bit tougher on me. Yeah, so I woke up and I didn't have any sugar at first, but then I went over to my friend's house, and she offered me a caramel roll, and I was like, when's the next time I'm going to get a caramel roll, you know? It's like, you know, it's an opportunity I didn't want to miss, and it is... A Wednesday so I thought I'd treat myself since it's a special occasion. It's day three and I it was really cold this morning so I decided not to go but I'll go tomorrow. Okay so it's day four and since I didn't do very much yesterday I didn't have skating today so um, I kind of like tripled my screen time so I'm pretty proud of myself. So it's day four and uh, so I decided that since yesterday I had a cinnamon roll, that what's the difference if I have another one today, you know? So it, so I did have uh, sugar today, but I figure I'd just get right on track tomorrow. So it's day four and I went to the gym, but I got distracted from my phone, but I'll do better next time. Okay, so I'm doing really, really good. It's day seven, and unlike everyone else in America, I'm actually gonna keep mine. So day seven, I know I skipped a few days, but you know, this New Year's resolution, I'm so over it. It really is not working out for me, and so I'm just gonna eat sugar because New Year's resolutions, you know, who even cares about them? So I, I'm gonna be done with this one, and uh, I'm gonna eat as much sugar as I want. It's day seven and I don't think my New Year's resolution is gonna work for me. It's been two days and I just haven't felt like going and I'm not motivated. So I think I'm just gonna end it now. My New Year's resolution is to get more sleep. Didn't you stay on Snapchat till 2 a.m. last night? Yeah, it's not going too well. On that note, we should wrap this up so I can get some sleep. Sounds like a good idea. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of VNN. We hope to see you next month.